definitely. We got a little current events and stuff going on today. You know, um, we wanted to talk about this, another reality recap, of course. There's a brand new show. Yes. Black Ink Crew. Yes. I love it. I love it. It's um it's based out of uh, the Black Ink Gallery that Caesar has, um which is the owner named Caesar in Harlem, New York. Yes, love it, absolutely Harlem, love nice. it. It's filled with crazy ratchetness, tons of ghetto ness, a lot of a, a lot of scandals. A lot of scandals. It's kind of scandalous, scandal. like yeah. a little scandalous. So on the cast rundown, we got Caesar, which is the owner of the shop. Now, um, he is in love with every girl that walks in there. Yeah, really. He is a super pet Mac Daddy. Next, we got Duchess. She's the brand new tattoo artist from down south. Yeah, down she's south. She's like a little Georgia peach or something. Probably mm -hmm. North Carolina. Somewhere down south. Red. She's Yeah, she's pretty too. I like her. Mm -hmm. She's from... Um, she's all right. Yeah, down south. She just, she's not pretty. I think she's pretty. I think she's She's ugly. down south pretty. <laughs> really? <laughs> what do you <it> mean? <laughs> I don't think she... We'll get into that you in guys, a second. Come on. Um, yeah, and we got this guy, Oh Shit, which his tattoo work is, like, a mess. I know, like, um, he is. swears he's Caesar's competition, that he's coming for him, like, he thinks he's mildly, like, a ladies' man, whatever. Like, his tattoos look like shit. Yeah. Now, we also got Sassy. I like her. I like Sassy. Mm, yeah. she's sassy, like. Yeah, I like her. She's not too overly sassy, she's very yeah. girly, dainty, classy she is sassy. sassy. She's yeah. a classy sassy, that's what we're gonna I'm call her. It. Classy sassy. We got Puma, which is ratchet. Yeah. He is the manager of the shop he and is. a complete ratchet mess. We'll get into that in a second. We also got Alex was this this little Cuban, little Latin spicy firecracker. Fits. She mm. is freaking off the hook. Yes. She's off the hook. And we also have a guest appearance from the Mixies, which the Mixies uh, that they're considering are these girls who hang around the mix of everything and they're always in the mix. So, the so show I would be a Mixie. No, you wouldn't. You'd be an artist. You'd be a main cast member. Yeah. <laughs> Those mixies, they're trying to be relevant. Oh, uh, okay. That's, yeah. the, that's the difference. That's what, that's what they are. Oh, they, okay. they're, they're, they're always at every event trying to be relevant. Oh, no, no, no. But no, they're no, not. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> but they're not. Yeah, you'd be part of the cast. Right. So, Caesar, it starts off, he's um, letting you know about the shop and everything. He's been working there for four or five years. Mm -hmm. and, he bought it from a previous owner. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, he's trying to get respect from everybody, but it's kind of strange. Like, I was watching, you know, I keep up on my MTV and my VH1, and um, I realized that they were casting for the show. So, this is how they actually picked up on um, Duchess. Okay, right. From down south. She obviously auditioned. This is why she came up. She's working in the shop. Of course, he's flirting with her. You know, she claims she doesn't like him. You know, she's not really interested. You know, he's all down her throat, sitting there. Like, everybody thinks, like, he's kind of, like, ball-breaking on her. But yeah, he's No, her. he likes her. That's yeah, what seriously. it is. He even called her babe and all this other all stuff. That, like, yeah. And whatever. a sweet voice. Mm -hmm. No, remind me of that freaking Eminem commercial or whatever, when the Eminem is sitting there talking to the freaking Cuban guy. And he was like, I love you because you're chocolate. Oh, yeah. And then she said, I thought you loved me for my brain. He said, is that chocolate? Is that chocolate? And I said, ooh, I love it. <laughs> Buffy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so they're doing their tattoos and stuff. And he's trying to get it as professional as possible. He's trying to gain respect from them. But, you know, when he started, they were there. Most of them were there. And they became friends. So they're still right. looking to him as a friend and not a boss. So this is the whole kind of like thing that he's trying to overcome in this show, which is still fine. I like his ratchetness because he's trying to bang everything that's moving and everything that's walking in there. <laughs> Isn't he though? Oh. Customers, employees, everything included. And he gets into it with um Alex. Well, before he gets into it, like Alex, the guy, oh shit. He decides they, they were drinking and the mixies were in there. And this guy, he came in with this ratchet, horrible tattoo, like on his middle finger yes. that was blurred up. It oh was my a mess. Gosh. His tat his tattoos look like shit. Yeah. So how I was are like, you what coming? What the f was that? So oh shit, how are you coming for Caesar when? Your shit is shit. Shitty. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> When I saw it, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? Did it. That's oh, what, my gosh. Exactly. That's exactly what I thought about when I saw that tattoo. Oh, shit. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, he did it. Oh, okay. it's all starting to make sense now. Yeah. Apologize for our language. This is what, this is his name on the show. Now, <laughs> this is on television. Now, um, oh, so they have this little party. Well, it's not even a party. It's like, you know, I guess a gathering. Right. Because they're in the shop. T people are still working and everything, and these mixies come in. 
Now, Duchess, she swears she's, um, you know, about it, about it. About it, about it. She I love about it. She, she is about it, about it. She swears it. she is and really down with know the what? Down. She needed to really freaking stop because she was talking about some, no, they were talking about this girl. The uh, girl, the girl was, was talking, talking to about Ted, which is Ted, Caesar's manager. About her. Cousin. She's like, I come in here all the time or whatever. She sees me. She never talks to me. She never acknowledges me. What's up with that? And she was like, this is my shop. The Mixie was saying, this is like yeah, my shop this too. is her shop or whatever. And so um, she comes up on her or whatever. She was like, I'm hearing my name and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And all this other stuff. She's like, she yeah, came so up like she was about to get busy. Yeah. She, <laughs> she's like, yeah. And so she's like, oh, something or whatever. Like, next thing you freaking know. Alex did this you- though. She was just holding that back. When Alex went to pull her, that's when Duchess want to go, what? Yeah, and it she was even so did it like funny. that. Like, it was like, what? She wasn't about it. At she all. from down south. At I know all. some of y'all down south can really if get down I with I am a very down. classy girl, but you know what? If I was to talk to someone on that freaking level, I'm going to be like, You better Hunch. be ready. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Because be there is nothing going down that's like, uh, uh, What the yeah. heck is that about? And then, um, are we friends or are we freaking fighting? And Sassy was like, oh, I give it to Duchess. Oh, yeah, because she had a little spark in it. No, girl, she no. had no spark in Actually, her. she got freaking bad <laughs> on put she back down in the freaking down. seat. Yes, she had a freaking seat. She act and freaking like, Minxie got on that ass. Yeah, she act like she wanted to have a seat and, and talk to Sassy. Like, you know, she like when she got sat down, she was just like, yeah. And da, 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 da. No, that girl sat you yeah, down. Don't act totally like you sat, sat down to have a conversation. Said, nah, 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 and I like down. Duchess too. Like, oh, uh, whatever. She ain't about it. This no, is New York ratchetness. Not at all. Okay. She ain't ready for the New York. New York and down south, it's like a culture shock. I think she even said it's like a culture shock. Yeah. It's completely different. And I different. imagine that it would be. Because down south, because I know, it's like, slower. you know, my, my friends live in uh, Virginia. I have family in Virginia, yeah. Maryland, and stuff like that. It's slower, it's nicer. People act like they have a understanding about what, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. manners are and stuff like that yeah. or whatever. So it's really different or whatever, and then come up to That's somebody. That's where the Southern Bells different, come but in like, at. Yeah, exactly. But don't sit up here and act like you're all hard when you're not. This is the thing that I don't like. Yes. And since we're covering this show for you, because we got the Southern Belle from down south, which is Miss Duchess, Miss Super Diva is dressed like her Southern belle today. I am. I am. And... Since we're doing the show also, since, uh, you know, we're going to be covering on the show, what I will be doing tomorrow is getting two roses to cover up this tattoo on my shoulder that I will not show right now. <laughs> but you know that this is not roses, but I right. will be getting it covered. Oh Don't pause and look and see what that is. That's crazy. This is ratchetness on my shoulder. But I'm going to be getting a tattoo since we're covering this show tomorrow. My boy Chip is going to put two roses we're going to show you our Philadelphia Mount Airy Black Ink. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so then Alex, so after all of this hoopla and they pop out the Patron and stuff and after the mixie done set Duchess down. Yes. Okay. So, um, Alex down. comes in the next day. Well, Caesar comes in the next day. His shop is closed and it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. And that's crazy. Yeah. They should have been in there. Alex is the receptionist. She should have been open to shop up. She's outside throwing up. You know, whatever. She comes in with a sports bra on tight, and her hair is looking all sorts of... She's looking ratchet. Yeah, she's all looking, sorts of ratchetness. She's looking crazy. She has, like, zero freaking makeup on. She doesn't even have lotion or, like, a nice thin coat of cocoa butter. No lip gloss. Nothing. No freaking eyes. She walked in. She no went straight anything. to the back. Yeah, she did. And mm-hmm. I was like, OMG. And like, she got with him, too, when he was like, I couldn't get no phone call. She was just like, look, I didn't do the phone call, so this is why I'm telling you now. She, I tell she you, like, went she's all a, the way on to him. I she, said, Damn. She's a neck-popping, Latin I said, spiced Damn. Cubana. I'm going to tell you something it. like this, though. It. If she'd have came at me like that, she'd have got beat down for the freaking count because... Well, he think he a ladies' man, that's why. And that's what, that's what he gets That's why me. she knows she can get away with it. Mm-hmm. That's why she knows she can get away with it. She was all like this with him. He mad at me still. Mm-hmm. No, okay. Yeah, and then she, she got up. She <laughs> when she had her back turned, she had that smile on her face like, "Got him. I'm gonna get paid for the day." Cause he sent her ass home, but okay. she know she gonna get paid for the day mm-hmm. and probably get a tip too. So then, this is the ratchetness. Is why I'm gonna be watching this show. Caesar is starting to fall, have this crush. He's crushing on Duchess real bad, Miss Southern Belle. And um, later on in a future episode. It she's looks on like a pole. She's on a pole. They're kissing. kissing. They're hooking up. Everything like that or whatever. And then Alex. he is like talking to Alex too. And Alex they're wanted, kissing and everything. She wanted a tip. She wanted a bonus for the week or something. Whatever. 
And it looks like Duchess is really calling her out. Like, come outside, bitch. Like, you see Alex against the door. <laughs> She's, like, holding the door up. Like, please don't come in. Here and warm I thought, okay, all that mouth she got. <laughs> okay. All that mouth she got. And she. I'd have been like, what? Oh, my goodness. I'd I have ran out there and I'd have beat her. She was holding that door closed. She was like, come outside, bitch. Like, she was not coming outside. She was holding the door. <laughs> like, She's scared as That out. wasn't even Duchess scared trying to come out. in here, Alex. Somebody was trying to come in and help you. And yeah, I mean, oh, my God. But it looks like, from what I'm grip gripping off of this, is that uh, she felt as though Alex was her friend, and that she found out what's going to happen between Caesar and Alex, and she thinks that's shady. And it might be. I mean, but she was saying, too, though, Alex was saying that she didn't even know that her and him was talking. How can you? He's flirting with everybody. But, yeah, but at the same... Yeah, exactly. So And Duchess, why... The way... With him flirting with everybody, why did... Would you think that he wasn't already banging her? Anyway, you I mean, just, like, You just got casted on the show from VH1. Yeah. So, how did you not think that he was already banging there is no his way own reception? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He might even be tapping Sassy, but I think Sassy's a little too close. I think, yeah, Sassy's not going down for that. She's not going for she that. She don't shit. need to. She's a tattoo artist. Alex, she's not a tattoo artist, I don't think. She's just no, a receptionist. she's a receptionist. It is what it is. So then we got Ratchet Puma. Puma, he comes in after a night of partying with his tooth knocked out. Okay. How much... And then he's got a mixie pregnant. Like, he found out he's having a little girl mm -hmm. by one of the mixies. They're talking about, oh, get a uh, DNA test. Because uh, you guys got to stay tuned. This is a must DVR, must watch. Like, you got to see this. Like, I'm going to be watching it and covering it. So, um, the baby comes out, and, you know, he's like a, a chocolate brother. Mm -hmm. And the baby comes out looking like a little white girl. Like, <laughs> Yeah. I mean, but baby. that's actually it's natural possible. because, you know, I have seen like that before. Like, even the like, when Nika's baby, they the baby colors. was freaking as light as me. I was like, oh, okay, she's going to be a little light girl or whatever like that. Mm -hmm. But then, like, after, you know, they just changed colors. I mean, it was changed. like, you know, a couple of weeks or whatever like that. Then she started getting her color. And, yeah. And stuff yeah. like that or whatever. And now, you know, she's her color and stuff like that or whatever. So that's like perfectly normal. So stay tuned, guys. Uh, let us know if um, you think that, well, put, leave this in the comment box. Do you think that that is Puma's baby? Yes. Do you? Are you going to be watching the show? Please let us know also because I'm telling you, it is filled with lots of ratchetness, ghettoness, and all that. Yes. And what's up with dude coming in the freaking day going to shop or whatever with his daughter? Dude came in the shop with his three year old so daughter O'Shea or whatever. Comes and they're talking about he ain't got no um no babysitter or something like that. You have a job. Yeah. No, he did say he's a single father. Now, okay, I can understand. Give it that. up to the single dads. Yeah, definitely. But, but like, you know, you can't bring your kid to freaking work. Now we all we all everybody know, know that. one oh one. Come on. Like, come on now. Okay, he said he needs the money so he can support her. Okay, well, what you need to do if you don't have a babysitter is in your living room, you need to actually open up a shop in your own personal living room and do it under the table and get super ratchet with it because your work is horrible anyway. So you might wow. as well just do it at home. You're more of an at-home tattooer, not a shop tattooer, and I don't think Caesar should keep him. Yeah, throw a party. I mean, I think that Caesar he should... had to do a whole tattoo this big on somebody's side because on, for the uh, mess up. Yeah. He's giving away free work. That's a lot of money for those inks. Like, for that color. Like, come on now. Like, so he's losing money. Like, Yeah, I think that he needs to pull it together because I would hate for him to be out there or whatever. He does have a freaking daughter and everything like that. Oh, whatever. yeah. And I would hate for that to freaking happen and everything. But he needs to definitely pull that shit together yeah. all the way because you can't be giving away a whole lot of freaking ink because you messed up on somebody's freaking ring. You can't be messing up on people's tattoos. It's permanent. Yeah. And then on that location, you can't even get a cover up on that. Exactly. What is he going to get the cover up? And then it's just going to be nothing but a big blotch of color. Yeah, it just looks stupid. A big, huge blotch of color. You're supposed to, this is, I don't even do tattoos, but this is what I know. That um, when you're working on fine areas, you don't use a double needle. You use a single. Mm -hmm. Did he use a single? Who knows? Probably it, not. Yeah. It was too blurred together. Like, the me it was too messy. It looked a mess. It yeah. looked a whole mess. Yeah. Uh, mm. I was like, what the hell is that? It looked like I did that shit. <laughs> well, I mean, seriously, like, I was like, uh... Okay. If I do this, you're going to give My me freaking 50 bucks because I, you him. know, tried to do it or some shit? Get the hell out of here with that bullshit, yo. Ratchetness. Ratchet. So, uh, yeah, definitely stay tuned. That's what we have for you here today. My opinion on the show is that it's going to be full of ghetto, ratchetness, drama, a lot of scandalous moments, especially with Caesar. Caesar is definitely scandalous. Mm -hmm. And what's going to happen between these girls? New Stevie J. 
Okay, definitely. And definitely stay tuned. It's going to be on at, it's on at 9 o'clock on VH1 on Monday. So definitely stay tuned, and I'm definitely going to keep you posted. We'll be here every every Tuesday for you. Yes. So till then, YouTubers. Mwah.